What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash that sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Cups is sad. Everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading for sign of Taurus. Um, this is for bonus reading for July of 2022. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. I do, I do, I do too. Um, this could resonate if you have Taurus in any aspects of your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Um, I encourage everybody to check out your other placements, um, at least your Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node for additional message or messages um, if you feel guided to do so. Okay? Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys from the bottom of my heart chakra. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Spirit messages you have aside for us. I haven't received any downloads yet, um, but if I do, I will let you know. I just felt guided to do Tauruses next, so and I just did the daily tea, so um, I figured why not? Just saying. Spirit messages you have aside for us. Bouquet compliments from an admirer. Spirit messages you have aside for us. Diamond, you'll be receiving a gift or a give or a precious gift. Spirit messages you have aside for us. Lily, spiritual love. Wow, Taurus, this looks good. Holy crap. All right. So we have bouquet, compliments from an admirer, diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift, lily, spiritual love. A Taurus that is cut uh, low vibrational, Libra feminine off. You are about to realize this is the best thing that's ever happened to you. For one, you're about to. Okay. A Taurus that has cut off a low vibrational Libra fem. Uh, you can be masculine or fem Taurus, but some kind of low vibrational Libra fem energy. One of you guys has already cut a low vibrational Libra fem off. Uh, for one, I heard you've already realized it's the best thing that's ever happened to you. So you've already cut this person off. I think you've blocked, deleted them, quit speaking to them, completely cut them out of your energetic space. Whoever this low vibrational leap for them is, they don't treat people with honesty, trust, respect, rules, ethics, integrity, or values. I heard you realize it's the best thing that's ever happened to you. So I think you've already started feeling better about this. You know intuitively in your own self that it was the best move for you and maybe for others. Um, and you're happy about this decision. For one, you're about to cut this low vibrational leap or fem off, whoever this person is in your life. And um, I think you're going to um, be happy about it um, down the line. So for one, you've already cut this person off. One, you're about to. One, you're very, very, very happy. You're glad the decision you made. One, you're about to. Um, for some, it could be hard. Maybe um, it was hard, uh, hard cutting her off or... Um, or is going to be hard to cut her off, but however that resonates, I think you're going to know, um, you're going to realize it's the, it's the best thing for you. Now, whoever this person is to you and how they apply, okay? For one, it was a former prostitute. For one, it's a secret lover in the community. For one, it was a former prostitute. And for one, it's a secret lover in your community. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, however that resonates. One, it's a family member. 
and one is a family member. So for one of you guys, it's a uh, former prostitute. So I think it's your former prostitute or somebody else's former prostitute. How that resonate? For one, it is uh, it's a Libra feminine, low vibrational Libra femme. She could have Libra in her Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Hand, and Jupiter charts. For one, it's a former prostitute of either yours or somebody you're connected to. For one, it is a family member, a family member of yours, I'm feeling. And for one, it is a secret lover in your community. So you are, she's a secret lover of yours in your community is what I'm presuming. You have to plug this low vibrational leap or fem in however, however she applies. So for some, you've already cut her off. For one, you're about to. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else, Taurus. You plug it in how it resonates, okay? All right. We have golden egg and bear. For some, you could be dealing with another earth sign. If you are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or thumb, and hand, Jupiter charts. If you are Taurus, experiment to see how it looks like this. Third chakra, number 37, could be a very significant number of one's life. Number 37, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number of one's life. Number 37. Spirit messages you have reflected. A Taurus masculine has very secret feelings, very secret feelings for a feminine energy of his past. You are a boss, very high level boss. Through many shocking series of chain events, this person will probably come into your energetic space soon. You're going to make this happen. But play it cool. Okay, Taurus. Whoever you are. Uh, whoever you are there, Taurus. You're Taurus masculine and you're a high-level boss. So, high-level boss. How how that resonates and applies. So, I feel high level boss you are either you're you're either self-employed and you're your own boss and you have employees under you like a llc or you are a manager boss supervisor or ceo in a corporate entity and um it was uh like a subordinate underneath you in some shape form or fashion that's what i feel um you have to plug yourself in where you fit um high level boss for an energy but it's a feminine energy of your past. You are masculine. If that this message applies for you, you're a Taurus masculine. And it's a femme energy of your past. And you have secret feelings for her. Um, but you're not going to tell her you have secret feelings for her. Um, I just heard get another one. And um, But through many shocking series of chain events, I heard she's probably gonna going, going to come in your energetic space soon. Uh, but you're going to play it cool, meaning you're not going to tell her you have secret feelings for her. I think on the romantical side um, is what I'm feeling. Um, I think you're going to, um, you're a high level boss. So I think maybe you want to work with her. I think you want to work with her or collaborate with her or hire her or um, something of that nature. I heard she is a feminine energy of your past. So for some of you guys, I feel she could have worked in your company before or worked for you before or worked around you. Something to do with work energy is what I'm feeling um, for this. Um, for some, it could be something else. But I'm feeling work energy here. I heard you're a high-level boss. So there's a reason I heard you're a high-level boss. Well, I think she worked for you or underneath you or collaborated with you. Whoever this femme energy of your past is. She's not in your current energetic space. Um, whoever this person is. She's not in your current energetic space. She is a person of your past. A feminine energy. And you are a Taurus masculine. Um, but you have secret feelings for her. 
um, but you're not going to tell her. Uh, if you come into contact with her soon, because I heard you're going to, you're going to, sounds like soon you're going to be the power play mover and create a series of chain of events to move her into your energetic space. Um, I'm feeling this might be an interview or this might be communication on phone or text or email, offering a position or coming in for an interview or what have you, what have you. But however that resonates, um, or it could be just communication on collaboration or something, however that resonates. But how that resonates when you come into energetic space with her, because you're going to help, you're going to either help make this happen or make this happen yourself. You're not going to tell her you have feelings for, her, which is smart. I heard play it cool. So you're not going to tell her, uh, which is smart. I mean, hell, if it's a person in your past, um, you, and you, you have a crush on her or you are secretly romantically interested in her or what have you, what have you, you don't want to be saying that crap off the bat. That's just not smart. We live in 2022. That's not freaking smart. And that's just the truth. Um, so I don't blame you. Okay, so we have golden egg, bear, um, bouquet, compliments from an admirer, diamond, you'll be receiving a precious gift, lily, spiritual love, pond, and lion, third chakra, which is um, solar plexus, uh, the color is yellow. A fraudulent marriage is about to become very significant in a Taurus's life. About to shut that shit down. For some, you were put in a fraudulent marriage. For some, you know someone else was. Whoa, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, Taurus, so for some of you guys, oh, fraudulent marriage energy strong. So fraudulent marriage energy strong, which is sad. That's sad, y'all. I've spoken on it many times. I think it's ridiculous. It's not even, it shouldn't even be a thing. How can you even do that? It, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Um, it does, that does not make sense. Um, anybody that would put anybody in fraudulent marriage is strictly done for financial reasons and greed. And that's just the truth. Um, but whoever you are, Taurus, one of you guys, you have been put in a fraudulent marriage. So I think you're about to find out you have been put in a fraudulent marriage is what I'm feeling for some. Or you already know you've been put in a fraudulent marriage. How that resonates. Um, and I think you're about to take action. Hopefully you sue the hell out of the person that put you in the fraudulent marriage. And I'm just being for real. That is sick. Sick in the head. Um, and for one, you know of someone that's been put in a fraudulent marriage. And it's about to become very, uh, that fraudulent marriage is about to become very significant in your life. I heard you're about to help shut it down. So I think you, Taurus, situation two, not the one, not the Taurus that has been put in a fraudulent marriage, but the other Taurus that knows someone else has been put in a fraudulent marriage, you are going to help shut it down as far as a fraudulent marriage is what I'm thinking from the spiritual downloads. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, I think you're going to create a series of chain events to maybe um, out the perpetrator that put somebody in a fraudulent marriage. Because in situation two, I don't feel you're in a fraudulent marriage. I feel you know somebody is in a fraudulent marriage. Who you could be a private investigator, public investigator, um, work in the legal sector, or, um, or something of that nature um, is what I'm feeling. Maybe you work the courthouse uh, or something like that. Only you know your story, not anybody else. You plug it in, how it resonates. But situation one, you have been put in the fraudulent marriage. You're about to take some action. Hopefully, you suit the hell out of that person. And I'm just being for real. Golden egg. Tennessee and Alabama and France and Hawaii and Florida is very significant in Taurus's life. Tennessee, Alabama, Florida, Hawaii, and France is very significant in a Taurus's life. So we have states in the United States and a country. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Tennessee, Tennessee in the United States, Alabama in the United States, Florida in the United States, Hawaii in the United States, and France. That's a country. For anybody doesn't know. 
um, is very significant in your life. So I feel you live in these states or you have lived in these states or you travel to these states or you like visiting these states or you know somebody in these states. How that resonates? Tennessee, Alabama, Florida, uh, Hawaii, and France. Hold on one second, I apologize. Hello? This is? I'm good, how are you? Oh, yes, ma'am, but it's okay. Um, I apologize. I should have uh, called you back. Um, I got it from, I got it from my ex-husband. I already paid it. Yes, ma'am. You too, ma'am. All right, bye. Okay, I apologize about that. I apologize. Um, so, yeah, so those four states and then the country is significant in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, you have to plug these situations in your life how it resonates. There's a lot of you guys on here. So, one of these might resonate or two or two plus. You plug it in how it resonates. Golden egg. A Taurus met a feminine energy through a pay per pay for play service in the past she is a golden egg and you are a golden egg and you know this person has been frauded and stole from in a huge way and you're about to help expose it in a huge ass way it pisses you off because you know it was wrong and it was wow taurus look at you okay Taurus masculine to Taurus fam. Taurus, I meant, not Taurus fam. Taurus masculine to Leo fam is what I heard. Taurus masculine to Leo fam. So Taurus masculine to Leo fam is what I heard, not Taurus to Taurus. So it's Taurus masculine to Leo fam energy. So, okay. So if this resonates for you, Taurus, you're a Taurus masculine, heavy Taurus masculine energy in here. You met a fem energy, and it sounds like a fem energy. I heard through a, um, a Leo fem energy through a pay-to-play service in the past. Um, I um, I heard you know this person, so I'm assuming the Leo Feminine, has been scammed and uh, she was scammed and frauded and uh, stole from um, in this pay-to-play service. So basically, it sounds like it was hidden camera voyeur energy is what it sounds like, illegal business, hidden camera voyeur energy. Because uh, if it was her pay-to-play service, she'd be making all the money off of it. Or she did make all the money off it, but it sounds like she didn't, and you know she didn't. So, how would have somebody have done that if they hadn't implanted a voyeur camera to take advantage of somebody? You see what I'm saying? Um, but I think you're highly intuitive, and I think you know this. So, because um, I heard you met her, uh, you met her in the weirdest of circumstances through this pay-to-play service. Um, it's a Leo fem. She got Leo on her sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, heaven, and Jupiter charts. But I heard you are a golden egg and you know she is too. So you are very worthy, very valuable, very, um, very worthy. And so is she. But people took advantage of her. They took advantage of her um, through theft and fraud and um, illegal voyeur camera, possibly. Because how else, if she was controlling the pay to play service, Nobody would have been taken advantage of her. There's a reason you know she was taken advantage of. And it's not, it's because she didn't get what she should have been getting through the pay-to-play service because she didn't create the pay-to-play service. Somebody else did. But you know this. I heard you're about to help expose it very publicly, very soon. Very, very, very soon. Very, very, very soon. So you're going to help expose it very soon. You are a golden egg and you know she's a golden egg. But somebody took advantage of a golden egg, not you, of somebody else. But you are a golden egg as well. So I think you might be famous or you might um, be a celebrity or you might be, um, um, you might be um, very rich. Um, 
maybe, um, yeah, I do. I feel a lot of value here, a lot of um, wealth, a lot of um, stability. Whoever you are, let me see if I hear anything else. For one, you're a celebrity. For one, you are a boss in a healthcare company. For one, you're an investigator. For one, you're a banker. Okay, so for one, you're a celebrity. One, you're a uh, boss in a healthcare company. One, you are um, a banker. You plug it in, how it resonates. Okay. One, you are a reader. One, you are a reader. Online public social media platform. One, you're a public speaker. Online public social media platform. And one, you're a reader. Online public social media platform. And one, you're a public speaker. Online social media platform. So you have to plug yourself in wherever you fit and resonate if you do. Fair. A particular Taurus feminine is about to have to go into mama bear mode. Something shocking is about to happen in your life. With one with one child, one with two, two plus children of yours. For one of you guys, it is a child connected to you. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So mama bear mode, um, your Taurus feminine, if this resonates for you, that's mama bear mode. Um, Bear in this energy is mama bear. So protecting like a mama bear. Um, you can be any sign to go in mama bear mode. Trust me, I'm a Leo son and I've went mama bear mode for my kids. Um, and that's just the truth. But you're a Taurus femme and you're about to go into mama bear mode. For some, it is your own child. For some, it's somebody you're connected to's child that you care about. So um, for some, it's your own child, whether it's one child. For some, it's two or two plus children. For some, it is a child or children you're, you are connected to and you care about. But this is you about to go into mama bear mode, Taurus. Um, whether it's your child or somebody you uh, care about's child, I mean protection energy. Protection energy. Mama bear mode is protection energy. I have two kids, two teenagers. Y'all know that. And I love my kids with everything in me. Um, I don't care how old they get um, and what have you, what have you. I love my kids. I love my kids and always have. Um, but something's about to happen in your life where you're going to have to go into mama bear mode, basically. Whether it's your kids or somebody you're connected to's kids. It hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's upcoming. And um, you're about to go into protection mode um, to protect these children. They're either your children, biological children, foster children, or just children you're connected to and you care about. Um, whatever that is. I didn't hear what that is. You plug it in, how it resonates, okay? Third chakra, Archangel Pimeo. Shocking negative test results and lab results are about to come back for one Taurus masculine. It's about to kick you into gear with healthy, healthier behaviors. One, you're recovering, recovering alcoholic. One, you're a reco uh, recovering drug addict. One, you're just very overweight. Okay, so this is for Taurus masculine. If this resonates for you, uh, one of you guys, you're a recovering drug addict. One, you're a recovering alcoholic. And one, you are a, um, you're just very overweight. overweight. So um, it's either obese or morbidly obese. Because uh, there's different categories for anybody that doesn't know. There's morbidly obese and obese. Um, but however, that resonates in the severely overweight category, if you resonate in category three. So one, you're a recovering drug addict. One, you're a recovering alcoholic. One, you are just severely overweight, either, either obese or morbidly obese. But however that resonates, you're about to receive that, uh, that negative lab results for some and some test results. So lab work, blood work. 
for one. Hold on one second, I apologize. Hello? 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 Okay, sorry. Um, so yeah, so um, um, lab work for one and one test results, but it's going to be negative. You are enforced masculine. Um, some kind of, I don't, I didn't hear specifically what kind of lab, lab work that is or test results, but um, it's going to, um, it's going to wake you up, give you like an epiphany, an aha moment, a whoa moment, um, and make you realize you need to change something about your life. Um, I think in category three with the either obese or morbidly obese category, um, I think you're going to start eating better or exercising or put yourself around positive people, maybe a support group or something to where um, you will um, get your health up in a positive way, um, whatever the bad lab results or test results are. However, that resonates, okay? So this is solar plex plexus chakra, which is um, abdomen. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be um, the la negative test results might be something related to GI is what I'm thinking. Um, because that's abdomen area, I'm thinking the negative test results are going to be something related to your abdomen, abdominal area is what I'm thinking. Um, let me see if I hear anything else. Maybe it's uh, you've been having a lot of nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, um, or something of that nature. I didn't hear anything. Okay. However, that resonates and applies. Okay. Bouquet, compliments from an admirer. A Taurus is about to get a lot of attention. A lot of attention. Public recognition. And someone connected to a Taurus is about to get a lot of attention. Public recognition. It's going to go very positively for you and this other person. Taurus, masculine, and feminine energy. I'm pulling in heavy Taurus, masculine, and fem energy. So if this resonates for you, you're Taurus, masculine, and you're connected to a fem energy, or you're about to be, how that resonates. But... Um, a Taurus masculine is about to get a lot of public recognition um, and attention in a positive way um, and a femme energy. Um, so you and a feminine energy, whatever sign she is and how that applies, um, is about to get a lot of public recognition and attention. So compliments from an admirer in this aspect, I feel it's a public recognition and attention, you and this fem feminine energy. So it's not, um, I think you, I think you guys are about to either get it together or separately i'm not sure And a Taurus feminine has been doing online dating and she's about to get a stalker. Beware. Oh my lord. And a Taurus fem is about to start doing online dating and I heard you're about to get a stalker. Beware. So in this aspect, it's obsessive energy, um, creepy, obsessive energy, unhealthy energy. Um, you're a Taurus fem if this resonates for you and you haven't done the online dating yet, but you're about to. Um, and Whoever you are, please be careful because I heard you're about to start getting an obsessive person. Uh, it sounds like online. Um, so they're going to obsess you, lurk you. Uh, I mean like obsessive. Obsessions are never good. Addictions and obsessions are never good. 
Terror addictions are never good. Alcohol addictions are never good. Um, gambling, drug addictions, anything that makes you feel like you have to come back. Um, you, like you have to. Sex addictions, what have you, what have you. It's never good. It's never good. It's good to always be in control of yourself and your money and your mind and yourself. If anybody needs to hear that. But anyway, so um, in this aspect, the compliments from the admirer is obsessive, unhealthy energy. It hasn't happened yet. It sounds like you are already online dating Taurus fam or you're about to. But how that resonates, um, you are about to um, uh, run into some kind of creepy, obsessive person. I'll tell you that. And they are not going to let go um, or want to let go. How that resonates. Please be careful. This is online dating energy in your Taurus fam. Diamond, diamond, you will be receiving or giving a precious gift. A cancer feminine is about to go to jail related to the secret seven of the past. For one, you're about to help her go there. Holy shit. And a Scorpio masculine and a Libra femme. Okay. Heard a Cancer femme, a Scorpio masculine, and a Libra femme. I'm assuming they're all connected to the Secret Seven of the Past. Um, but only you know your specific story, not anybody else. Um, I heard specifically Cancer femme, um, Taurus. I'm um, not Cancer, not Taurus. Cancer femme, Libra femme, and Scorpio masculine. Related to the secret seven of the past. So the secret seven I'm, I've been pulling in, I'm presuming. Um, I heard they're about to go to jail soon. And for one of you guys, you're about to help them go to jail. So in that aspect, you'll be um, giving a precious gift. is the gift of you about to lock them up. I feel for some, you might be an officer of the law, an investigator, or a fed, or what have you, what have you. Um, so, or maybe you're a citizen that knows information on these people. I'm not sure. Only you know your specific story. Not anybody else. You plug it in how it resonates. Okay. And a Pisces fam. And a Pisces fam. And a Pisces fam. That's what I heard. And a Pisces fam. A new home for one, and for one, you're about to travel up and travel all across, uh, travel across the country, move. Okay, I heard a new home for one of you guys, so for one, you're about to um, purchase a new home or rent a new home, or a new home to you, um, congratulations, whoever that's for, uh, for one of you guys, um. And for one, you're about to up and uproot yourself. And I heard move across country. So um, it sounds like you want to travel. You want to go out and see the world. Um, and that could be um, the receiving the precious gift of traveling, of uprooting yourself. It sounds like you free, free, willing, free willingly want to do this. So congrats whoever this is for. And for one, it sounds like you want to purchase a home or rent a home or something like that. And you will be approved. So you plug it in how it resonates, Taurus. Spiritual love. A particular Taurus is very spiritual. And for one, you're about to get somebody else into spirituality. Okay, a particular Taurus is very spiritual. And for one, you're about to get somebody else into spirituality. 
So for one, you're very spiritual. Um, you can be spiritual and religious or just spiritual, just to let everybody know. Whoever you are, you're very spiritual. So you believe in spirituality and the universe, spiritual universe, and um, there's no shame in your spiritual game, whoever you are, and I love it. There's no, no shame in my spiritual game either. Just saying, just saying. Um, but for so for one, you're very spiritual, and I think you're there's no shame in your spiritual game, basically. There's no shame in your spiritual game, baby. Just saying, just saying. And I love it. I love it. So you're loud and proud spiritual, and you're not afraid to say you're loud and proud spiritual. I'm not either. I'm just saying, just saying. I love it. I love it, whoever you are. That's for one of you guys. For one, you're about to get somebody else into spirituality. So I think you're about to tell them about spirituality or tell them about your spiritual journey or tell them about spiritual practices, how you practice spirituality, whether you're spiritual and religious or just spiritual. And I think they're going to be interested in it and want to do it as well. So you plug it in how it resonates. That's really beautiful. And one Taurus telepathically communicates with another person. This person reads their energy like a book, and you know it. Okay. And one person, uh, one Taurus, uh, is um, telepathically telepathically communicating with another person. Um, you are Taurus, so you are able to have your chakras open and your uh, space, your chakra, uh, crown chakra open, and your third eye open, and you're able to receive downloads and able to telepathically communicate and you have been telepathically communicating with another person and i heard um they've been telepathically communicating back with you um and you know it you know it so they're receiving your download you're receiving their download i mean y'all are communicating back and forth through the energetic interwebs of the spiritual universe i love it i love it um just saying, just saying. So y'all are, this is telepathic communication in this aspect, spiritual love, spirituality, telepathic communication. That's the coolest shit ever. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Um, I heard this person reads your energy like a book. Um, um, and you are going to start reading theirs in a very positive way. And you are going to start reading theirs in a very positive way. So this person already reads your energy like a book. Whoever this person is that you telepathically communicate with, they pull your energy in like on point. Um, and for one, you're going to start reading theirs telepathically, I'm feeling like a book. You're going to be pulling their energy in. Um, I wonder if you're a psychic. Just saying, just saying. I feel for some of you to be psychics. I didn't hear you were, but I feel you might be. Um, and I'm just being for real, for real. That's really beautiful. A very significant donation is very will be very significant in Taurus's life. For one, you're going to receive it. For one, you're going to give it. Okay, a very significant donation is going to be very significant in Taurus's life. For one of you guys, you're going to give the donation. For one, you're going to receive it. For one, it could be both. You could be giving and receiving it. You plug it in, how it resonates. That's beautiful. I feel for some, you could be readers because we have a spiritual love card. I feel for some, you could be readers. And you're about to receive a donation or donations. Um, and I, I think you do an online public platform for some. Um, whether you're a public speaker or reader, because we're pulling in public speaker and reader energy in here with online public platforms. So I feel for some, you do online public platforms. You're very much in the public eye. And you're about to give a donation for some. And for some, you're going to receive one or two or two plus. And for some, you might, like I said, you might give a donation. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But heavy online public platform energy telepathic communication spirituality um spirituality energy and um that's really beautiful and donation energy too so you plug it in how it resonates okay pawn A significant outing to one a river, one a pond, one a creek with another person is about to become very significant in a Taurus's life. 
okay? A significant outing for some of you guys to a pond, some to a creek, some to a river is about to become very significant in a Taurus's life. So it sounds like you, it hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's upcoming. You are about to visit a pond, like a literal physical pond for some, for some a river, for some a creek, but it's with another person. But somehow this visit with this other person is about to become very significant in your life. I feel for some, they could be a spiritual person or you could be talking to them about spirituality within this visit or um, that's what I'm feeling. I didn't hear that, but that's what I'm intuitively feeling here for some. Um, yeah, I do. Uh, but you plug it in how it resonates. Um, I think you like nature or they like nature or something like that. Or you're going to start liking nature. Tree trimming is also about to become very significant in a Taurus's life. And a gift card. Tree trimming and a gift card is also going to become significant in a Taurus's life. So um, tree trimming. So I think one of you guys might, and a gift card. So either you're going to give a gift card or somebody's going to give you a gift card. Energies can be reversed or maybe both for some. And maybe for some, you're going to hire somebody to come tree trim your property or somebody else's property or some, or maybe you work at a tree trimming place or, um, or you're about to go do services for somebody with tree trimming. Somehow tree trimming is significant for somebody, um, and a gift card. So gift card, either you're going to give the gift card or somebody's going to give the gift card to you. How that resonates and applies. This one I'm feeling for the gift card. For the tree trimming, I feel you are a tree trimmer or um, you know somebody that's a tree trimmer or you're about to utilize tree trimming services from somebody or um, you're going to gift somebody with tree trimming services because we have gift card energy in here. However, that resonates with some kind of tree trimming energy. How that resonates. Lion. Leo season is about to become very, very, very significant in a Taurus's life. Very significant. For some in a very positive way, for some in a very negative way, it all depends on who you have around you. Know this. And who you're about to have around you. Know this. Okay. I heard Leo season is about to become very, very, very significant in um, some of you guys' life. Um, so Leo season. So it start Leo season. I'm a Leo sun. I know that. So Leo season starts um, 723. I think it goes 723 to 823 is what I think, or 822. You have to Google it for the exact dates, but uh, it starts on 723 and it goes to like 822 or 823. Um, but Leo season is about to become very significant in some of you guys' life, but either in a positive aspect or negative aspect. Hey, uh, uh, no. It all depends on who you have in your life and who you're about to have in your life is what I just heard. So who you're having, who you currently have in your energetic space or who you're about to uh, allow in your energetic space is about to influence Leo season for you is what it sounds like here, Taurus. So only you know who you allow in your life currently in your energetic space and who you are about to allow in your life in your current energetic space. Only you know this, not anybody else. So um, it sounds like with these spiritual downloads, I take this as choose wisely. Choose wisely who you currently have in your life and who you're about to choose to have uh, in your life. Um, Leo season, let's see, we're at 718 now. So 723 is on Saturday. The beginning of Leo season is on Saturday. That's five days away. That is five days away. So that's not far. Is what I'm saying. That's like distant horizons energy in the crow, but it's not, it's upcoming distant horizons energy. That's five day, freaking days away. It's not fall. So it's either going to go good for you or bad for you, but it's about to be dependent on who you currently have in your life and who you're about to allow in your life. Some of you guys are about to have new people come in, um, but you're about to free willingly allow these people in is what I'm feeling here. So just choose carefully. Um, whoever you guys are and how this applies, 
I take this as Leo season, lion, Leo the lion. Us lions hear us roar. Why are they just saying, saying? Um, yeah. Uh, maybe it's another Leo you're about to allow in your life. I didn't hear it was, but I feel maybe for some it is. Because um, one of you Taurus masculines, um, one of you's got a crush on a Leo fem, and I'm just being for real. One of you do. Uh, one of you do. do one of you does. Uh, but it's very secret. It's very secret. And you're going to keep it cool and all that shit. And you should. You should. You should. I mean, that's just smart. And that's just damn, damn truth. Until you know the feelings are mutual. I mean, hell, um, you don't want to be putting all your energy and time and effort into somebody and it not be returned. But in the same at token, though, you can't be expecting this person to be giving, giving, giving to you and you not give shit either. If anybody needs to hear that. Just saying. And a Leo alcoholic, Leo masculine alcoholic, is about to be jailed soon. It's about to shock the hell out of you for one. For one, you're going to make the phone call to put him there. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, so Leo masculine alcoholic energy, um, he is an alcoholic. So he hasn't tried to go to AA, I'm presuming, or try to get his self-help or try to better his alcoholism or maybe he has and he's relapsed i'm not sure but he is a leo masculine alcoholic he could have leo in his sun moon rising venus or thumb in hammer jupiter charts for one you're going to be shocked he's about to be put in jail or he's about to be jailed for one you're going to help create a series of chain, chain events to put him there i heard you're going to make the phone call to put him there so i think he's going to maybe he um acts out of line in public um he starts uh, like he really does disturb the peace. Like, he acts a fucking fool. Like, maybe he goes out and he's stumbling all over the place and slurring his words and spilling his drink and um, um, hitting on people, either sexually or physically. Um, and maybe he's a mean drunk. Maybe he's a mean drunk. And um, and one of you guys is going to make the call. Now, I didn't hear it was in a public space, but for some, I feel it could be. For some, it could be in a home situation. But I don't think he's a nice drunk is what I'm trying to say. I think he gets mean when he gets drunk. Um, I can't speak on personal experience from alcoholism because I've never been an alcoholic and I've never been a drug addict. But um, And I know some of you guys are recovering addicts and um, drug users. And I'm not downing you guys. I think you guys are wonderful. The ones that have recovered through uh, from alcoholism or drug, drug use, as long as you stay recovered, though. As long as you stay recovered and you make positive Copacetic steps in your life to keep going, moving forward, you know, um, I commend that. I commend that, and I think that's beautiful. But whoever this person is, they don't want to move forward. They want to drown themselves literally in a bottle. But it sounds like this person is about to get out of hand or out of line, and you're about to, um, one of you guys is going to make steps to put him in jail. And it sounds like he does need to be jailed um, to sober his ass up and to, um, make him come back to reality and realize what the hell he's do doing to his life. Um, but that's just my, my, my two cents on this. Um, only, you know, the actions you're going to create here, but one of you guys, you're going to be shocked. You're going to be shocked that this Leo masculine is going to be, um, in jail. So for one, you're going to help make steps to put him there. And for one, you're going to be shocked. He's going there. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Uh, let me pull a kipper and then we're going to close it. This is a good reading, Taurus. Hope you enjoyed your bonus. If you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share it very publicly via social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it, you guys. Single mom and two kids. So it really helps support a single mom and two kids and one of her income stream. Spirit messages you have reflected. Yeah, we have gifts. I heard one of you guys is going to receive donation or donations, and one you're going to give donation or donation. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. I feel guided to pull an energy for some reason. Another one. Okay. 
Okay, I did. Okay. A very honest conversation is about to be had between a Taurus and a Fem Energy. Some you're a Fem Taurus, some you're a masculine Taurus. A very honest conversation is about to be had between a um, Taurus, some you're a Fem Taurus, some you're a masculine Taurus. Very honest conversation. Um, so you're about to have a very honest conversation. For some, I feel you could have this con honest conversation at the creek or the pond or the river. For some, it could be anywhere else you're about to have this honest conversation. You plug it in, how it resonates. For some, you're a Fem Taurus, some you're a masculine Taurus. And it's with the Fem Energy. How it resonates. A Taurus is about to get phone call about money laundering of the past. Called into the office. You work at a banking institution. You lied in the past, but you're about to be honest now. Oh, my God. And a Taurus that works in a banking institution, I heard is about to get called into the office. Um, regarding money laundering of the past. I heard you lied in the past, but you're about to be honest now. You know people know the real truth, and they do. It is time to come forward. You know people know the real truth, and they do. It is time to come forward is what I heard. So if that message applies for you, you work in a banking institution, Taurus. You could be masculine or feminine. You're, I heard you're about to get called into the office regarding some kind of money laundering, questioning about money laundering. Um, I heard you lied in the past, but people know the real truth. And I heard they do. You know they know the real truth. And you they know they know the real truth. You know they know the real truth. I heard you're gonna you're gonna be honest now. And I heard it'd be smart for you to be honest because hell everybody knows the real truth. So yeah, just saying you should in my opinion, you shouldn't lie in the past, but I'm not you. So whoever you are, you're a Taurus, mask on our fan, you can have Taurus in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Ben Haven, Jupiter Charge, number 48, could be a very significant number in one's life, number 48. Angel of Balance. Lots of balance is about to come to many Taurus's lives in many ways. Some, you're about to step up and help this balance. This is beautiful, man. This is pretty good reading. Lots of balance is going to come to many Taurus's lives in many ways. Uh, for a lot of you guys, you're about to step up and help this balance occur. So for some, you could be dealing with a Sag, or you could have Sag in your chart, um, possibly. Um, but um, however that resonates, whether you have Sag in your chart or you don't, you are about to be the power play mover here. You're about to step up. You're about to take the reins. You are about to make positive changes in your own life here, Taurus, and create balance in your own life um, in positive, copacetic ways. Um, that's really beautiful energy. Just saying, just saying, just saying. All right. Let me see if I hear anything else. John, Jacob, Ryan, Luis. John, Jacob, Ryan, Luis. Steven. Stephen, Adam, Omar, Adam and Omar, Jana, Jacob, Jana and Jacob, Chesley, Michael, Chesley and Michael. Okay. Uh, that could be your name. So by your next choose name, first, middle, last initial. I meant not first, middle, last initial. First, middle, or last name. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, you guys. Um, however that resonates. Um, I feel for a lot of you guys, it could be your name or it could be somebody you're connected to his name. Um, Mary and Martha. Mary and Martha, I just heard. Mary and Martha. Okay. 
Um, it could be, I feel it could be your name or somebody you're connected to's name, first, middle, or last name, or a nickname. However, that resonates and applies, okay? Okay, I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.